Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where really quick we're gonna just double check and make sure da, 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 da. I probably can't talk to Jacob or Morden but I could try talking to Miranda and we already talked to Zaid but let's try talking to Mar oh and we'll also talk to Thane oh maybe Samara Samara might have something to say but I don't know she we've got her personal mission on the docket and once that happens it's hard for them to talk about other things Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. Oh, ho, ho. I wanted to apologize. Mm -hmm. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, Based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Sarah Not in the game. Not really. Gap. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. I feel, oh, what about Jack? <laughs> um... What was I thinking? Um, I crossed some, like, arbitrary laws. I didn't commit moral or ethical experiments, turning people into plant slaves, like m m zombies, and I didn't do that. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. I saw your bases years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian Creepers, even husks to make your own army. The husks were already dead. The Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army. We were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? See, I mean, you, you can see, like, the logic, right? But like they're like oh, they were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. I'm like yeah, but it was still a problem. They were breeding on that one moon that we had to go and help like a bunch of alliance soldiers on. Maybe they weren't breeding necessarily. They were just there because they didn't have a queen, so they couldn't breed. Um, but yeah. Also, I thought mm, no. I'm pretty sure at least in Mass Effect One, the way it's described is the people become. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't become like the creeper husks or the creepers, rather. Um, but still, treating the husks who were already dead like that—not very nice. Like I don't know. You gotta have some respect for the dead, you know. But advancement, you know. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the special tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. <laughs> the best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best genes money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. You're not coasting on good genes, Miranda. Your ability and your dedication speak for themselves. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate that. I think I should get back to work, but thank you for coming. I by. think we missed one of the butt shots there, so that's good. Um, but no, yeah, I can see you can kind of. It's very. It's easy to not easy, but it's it's un, Miranda is understandable, right? Like she. It's like that whole. I don't know. 
I don't know if it's just a millennial thing or what, but you grow up and you're like, um, I don't know, when I grew up, and I know other people have experienced this too, you're in honors classes, you're in like the special like super smart kid groups or whatever, you know, and it's like your whole life, you're like, oh, you're so intelligent, you're so creative, blah, 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 and you're like, but I'm not really doing anything like it feels like it right like you feel like you feel like you don't deserve this praise that you're given and to this day I still don't think that I'm as like wonderful or whatever or as intelligent or whatever as like people tell me and like my mom's always like you're such a smart cookie and I'm like but am I or am I just a piece of asparagus you know which I like asparagus but like I don't know (laughs) but like you know it's hard to believe people when they tell you that when you don't feel like it yourself which is maybe better than like thinking you're the, you know, the greatest thing since, like, sliced bread. I don't know. <laughs> Which would you rather have, like, overconfident ego or, like, crippling, you know, imposter syndrome? <laughs> like, you know? So, I don't know. But it's kind of, it's, it's kind of easy to understand Miranda in that way, where it's like, are my accomplishments, like, really, like, that, you know, my own? Hers is, like, are they my own? Like, she's got, I don't know. It would be hard, right, to think, like, all everything you have is, like, based on, like, you know, money and, like, genetic, like, advancement. And, like, can she really claim any of it? Like, I don't know. I'm not going to. I'm not going to keep. I could, I could wax philosophical about Miranda's situation, but I'm not going to. I already did a little bit. I'm just not going to keep going. But, yeah, it, it's an interesting discussion that you could have about Miranda's, like, whole life story. Do you need something? a few minutes to talk? Later. No. I'd like to consider what we've already Dang discussed. <laughs> I should go. I shall return to my meditation. I love you. <laughs> um, let's go. Actually, before we run off and do anything wild, I... I don't think we need to talk to Joker. I'm gonna go... Oh, hang on, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. A, a BRB. Oh, this is the system that Edie sent us to as well. When we were like, just get us out of here. And she was like, okay. That was actually a really, um, what do you call it? Rich system. Lots of stuff. No, nothing cool lore-wise, really, but lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. We are going to... Oh my gosh, there's so many here. Okay, to be fair, while we're here, we might as well bring Morden and do his thing on Tajanka, too. I almost just clicked it again. Near Alaka. Morden. How exciting. It is actually really interesting to be bring Morden on these. On this one in particular. After the probe and split the atom. Hmm. <laughs> Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Beautiful. Let's go. Actually, no. We'll bring... So we have to bring Grunt. But let's bring somebody, an old friend. Either Garrus or Tali. La la la. Probably Garrus is the best one for this, honestly. Krogan Berserker boy. Look at my son. Survive wounds. Grunt can go berserk. Let's do survivability, my boy. Got some shot and shot. Got some shot. Yes, let's do Vindicator, Grunt, Vindicator, yes, perfect, excellent, perfect, beautiful. Onwards to Tujunka. (laughs) 
The Krogan Homeworld. I'm excited. We're gonna meet somebody here that I'm very excited, and he's one of the reasons I wanted to do Grant's missions as soon as possible. <laughs> Chunka. Oh, hey, whoa, what up, what up? If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard. I, I am indeed. Can I, can I help you? <laughs> the clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Huh? What? You know what's wrong with him. What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> As we'll see. <laughs> it's an interesting solution to Grunt's problem. I don't listen, Garrus. <laughs> So they had to live in underground bunkers. Hmm. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the chief scout. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Either they don't have them, or they have really great encryption somehow. I don't know. Monkeys. Wait, wait. Talk. Good. We'll go over there in a second. Yes, of course. Let's see. This is the great Krogan home. Well, you know. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing it's, on. It's I more. Never thought I'd miss the tank. It's more than you know appearances. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan leader I... must respond. Your performance will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Rex, Good enough. my friend. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way. Shepard. My friend. Oh, it's so good to see you. Dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of her not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. <laughs> A big one spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. <laughs> I love that smug smile. <laughs> now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Uh, yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. I do. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. It's a little it's a bit of a weird way to say it, honestly. But yeah, we'll, we'll see more as, as time goes along. 
How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Yeah, and so, you know, it's like, so it's like, it's sort of a roundabout way. Like, he's not just like immediately attacking them. He's like, oh, you're in exile now. And then everybody else attacks them. So, you know, it works. Um, but also it's interesting, right? Because at the, in Mass Effect 1, Rex is like, I'm never going back. Like, nobody listens to me. You know, like, I tried to unify people once and it didn't go well. And I don't want to do any of that political shenanigans anymore because nobody cares. And I can't help them. And now he's back and he's like, no, for reals, we're doing it this time. Like, after everything that happened, he's like wanting to do it again, you know? Can't, can't keep a good Krogan down. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. Indeed. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. And you work together. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. What a good life lesson for even modern day political venues to take, you know, he, he breaks it down so simply, but like truly, like everybody's differing, you know, like cultures, belief systems, like rules, like, you know, you could have clashing for sure, but like, in the end, like, they're all Krogan, we're all human, I don't know, I'm getting all like philosophical, but like, I don't know, it's, it seems simple here, right? It's like, oh yeah, easy peasy, but... It took a lot of work for Rex, and it would take a lot of work in the real world, too. Blah, blah, blah. What do the women of clan yeah. not think about let's this do plan? this one. It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend clan Erdnot. And this is an interesting whole thing. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. <laughs> so it's an interesting way that they've had to like, you know, but it, it's kind of like how the, the warlord Shiagr, um, the only, I think the only female warlord during like the Turian like shenanigans when they were like when they were trying like, during the Krogan rebellions, um, she leveraged her power as a fertile female to become one of the most powerful warlords in the entire like Krogan like I guess what do you call it like culture. Um, and so these women, uh, they they do the same thing. They leverage their power as like fertile, um, and say don't come near us without you know without. It's, it's like express permissions and there's whole like rituals and stuff around it like so they yeah they've utilized it to their own benefit but as we'll see in mass effect 3 right it's not the way it was supposed to be with them being separate you know but that's just how they've evolved with like like culturally socially evolved with the genophage mm. this sounds ambitious how's it gone so far better than i'd feared worse than i'd hoped it can't continue you are going against what makes us strong. Traditional. Good. Some traditions are good, right? Obviously, great. Some deserve to be kicked out the airlock. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained barren, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. 
When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. It would be stupid to underestimate Rex's plan, you know? Like, it's like, bro, you're weak, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, <laughs> if you hear the way he's talking, like, he is more than willing to break a few nicks <laughs> for this idea if he needs to. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. Mm-hmm. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. You don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Mm. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Alright, I meant to click that one, but I was wondering... I didn't know it was gonna, like, actually... Shepherd, what can I do for Make you, me friend? leave. <laughs> Here we go. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. <laughs> Clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I will personally. Krogan, you should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? <laughs> I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Adolescent. <laughs> Can't we just take him to Omega and buy him a few dances? <laughs> I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? Also, I thought freaking Garrus would say, I swear, like, Garrus says something, like, hey, Rex, how's it going? But apparently, it, no, apparently it didn't happen. Maybe he'll do it later. What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? <laughs> this is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. That's my boy. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? Oh, so many, Rex. It's all good. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka is as safe and homey like Pharaoh's and <laughs> His perspective is <laughs> very Krogan. You see that special he had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out of <laughs> fixing something if you can't hunt. Was a special bid on the Citadel. Um, I do wish, I do wish 
Rex could come with me. Well, I'm not putting a damn sorry statue up here, and that's what you want. Don't be a fool. You're honored to find in Zarathra. Maybe they could have honored us by not bombing us with a genophage. What? It would be really cool to have Rex, but we have Grunt, whom I love. I'll tear you apart. You don't have a place to try. You. Watch it. Me? Why? <laughs> I have to talk to the shaman first. You go beyond yourself, Gavatavuvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. I don't care what this idiot says. Grunt has the right to be here. There's some fire. And from an alien. Oh, the shame the seeps on those who whine like <laughs> If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. Mike Grant stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Ufang invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your craft? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? How is a candidate tested if he brings backup on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnot. Name our target and it will die. Spoken well. Mm. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true Krogan. Everything about Grunt is alive. <laughs> Ow, that would break. You. That would break my head. You did. I don't think I'd survive that. <laughs> I like this human. She understands. And this is how you deal with Krogan. <laughs> Draw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You gotta, you gotta be a little, little rough around the edges. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. <laughs> They're your problem now. I actually really enjoy doing it because, like, normally Shepard's like a pretty, like, you know, even keel. Is my Shepard's pretty even keel for the most part? But she knows. She knows how Krogan operate. She will uh, talk to them in a, a way that best gets her point across. <laughs> Do we need any special equipment? To begin the right, only the candidate and his cramped are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? No. The last gasp of a dying opponent. That's a weird smile she had. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. I don't think my Shepard necessarily feels that, but you can't deny it. As being a soldier, I think you, like, you know, there's a thrill in surviving, if nothing else, you know? And in knowing that you've, like, fought to the best of your ability, you know? Is that Krogan going to be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. You should be talking to Grunt. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. We'll return when we're ready. When the young Krogan is prepared, bloodshed in the rite must not be rushed. Ooh. Eyes straight ahead. All right. Give me a reason. We are gonna go now. But thank you all so much for watching as I literally take my son uh, through puberty. <laughs> How exciting! But no, it's super good to see Rex again. I like that we have two missions here because you can come by and chat with Rex a bit more. Oh, I did mean to go talk to Dangnab. I meant to go talk to Anderson my dad but anyway thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it uh really quick i'm gonna say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons but to especially my sapling tier patron reese galito thank you so much for your support and an extra special thank you to christopher who is my tree tier patron thank you so so much for your support i really appreciate it so thank you all again for watching and i hope to see you in the next one